Putting them focus. Tell me what you've learned so far. What I've learned so far. Yeah. Ha, Jesus. Okay. From the beginning. I've learned um liquidity. Yes. That's um, that from the beginning. Is it? That's from the beginning. I should start from where? Start from the beginning. Okay, the beginning. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, so um candlestick, the beginning is candlestick. They are formed by human behavior, yes, yes, and actions. And then those human behaviors they are dominated by either fear, greed, or hope. Then went to um what is forex, and um, it is a decentralized market. Or should I skip this part? Or should I still continue from this forex? I think we know. Continue. Okay. I want to hear everything. You do. Okay. Okay. So it is a decentralized forex. Is a decentralized global currency exchange, which means it can be done anywhere in the world and anytime. And then there are some things traded on Forex, sorry, on Forex, yes, or the markets. We have currency, we have commodities, we have stock indices. Uh, and group of companies too. Uh, okay, those are under stock indices. Then we have people that participate in this are uh, um, big co companies, commercial companies, retailers like me. I don't know if you are a retailer. A retailer like me? Yeah. You said? I'm with you. Like a measurement is used to like, is used to measure um, the change in price. Yes, the change in price. Maybe and for other currencies, they have four four digits after the decimal point. So the last last digit, yes, is the the PIP. <laughs> then for JPY, it's different because I think they are just two. Is it hey, two or hey, is it three or two? Please, I'm coming digit after the decimal point i hope i'm correct yes and then the last one is the pip then we have the types of forex and i think that um these are ways to these are two ways hello can you hear me yeah i'm with you Historical ways of determining price movements, like it's the way of going, I don't know if I should use back testing, going to the past to detect. And then he uses um, various, um, hey, various, ah, what's this word? Let me just use instrument, I'm so sorry. Then, of what's going on in the world like van news and um, all this growth of economy inflation unemployment and how it affects the markets and the we went to trading platform god i'm so nervous i'm shaking we went to the trading platform this is this is um, where i the charts are, are displayed yes then there's something called trading view i think is a better platform for um chart analysis yeah you can also trade on trading view and then we have two types of you can also trade on it but okay. you have to be you have to register with the group not just okay. for uh analysis some people they do live you understand 
Yes. So there is a video on, on trading view. I believe you must have seen it, so you can watch that. Okay, you can go ahead. Okay, so we have the broker. This is like a financial, I don't know, an intermediary that's, that's between us. Okay, it is in between us, the traders, and then, I don't know, the market. <laughs> regulated broker uh, yes regulated ones are the ones that are signed on that i don't know they are they are registered yes then now this is i don't know leverage is i i'm sorry i don't know what leverage is i've browsed about it but i okay um I don't understand it. then Market okay. structure. That's that's fine. Okay, you want to talk about market structure? You say I should tell you every. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. That's that's all right. You've tried. Yeah. You've tried. It's fine. Okay. Um, this will be our first session together, and I intentionally asked you to watch all the videos on my YouTube channel so that you will get used to everything there and so it makes work very very easy when you come for the specialized session are you with me are you with me yes I'm. yes so now so now um i'll be starting with the market structure and uh i just hope that you Oh, the, the, this this session is recorded for you to go back and watch. Can you see my whiteboard? Yes, I can. What can you see here? Specialized session. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's market job. I want to confirm. So, um. I'm recording this for you to go to have access to so that you can watch and you can take advantage of it. So what is market structure? So you need to understand that um, market structure, one of the one of the most important skills you need as a trader. Are you with me? Is yeah is the ability for you to read and understand the market structure. You with me? Ability okay. to read and understand, understand the market structure so if, if you notice i have my read and understand in caps lock and there's a reason why i'm doing that i'm doing that for you to know that it is highly important it is what highly important are you with me? It is highly important. Can you hear me? Are we together? Yes. Yeah. Okay, it's highly important. It is a skill. That's why you have to learn it. You get, and the most, the, the two most important components is for you to read it and to understand it meaning you can read and not understand it. So you need to read and what understand it. Why? Because a good knowledge of market structure helps you to see how traders behave in the market. Helps you see how traders 
A in the market. It helps you see, it, it, it helps you understand the language of price. There's something we call price language. And only market structure can help you understand this. Only market structure. Price language is simply the construction of price. What informs price movements? Why is price behaving the way it's behaving? Why is price selling? Why is price buying? That's language. And for you to understand, to for a language to be beneficial to you, you need to understand it. And not just understand it, you need to be fluent in it. So read, understand, read. You know it, understanding you are fluent, you can you can also speak it. So when you open your chat, you can see the chat will come to you. And a way to respond is by applying the knowledge that you will be gaining and that you've gained over the in the in the last few weeks that you started this journey. Price language. And only market structure will help you know this. So now you will ask me, what is market structure? Market structure is simply, is simply the study. Uh, yes, the study of markets behavior that's just the simple definition the study of what of market behavior helps you know it helps you know what the price or what the crowd are doing. It also helps you know who is in control. The markets, either the buyers or the sellers. It helps you know the right time. And place, not just time, because we need to balance it. And place to enter or exit the markets. And when to stay away. I'm taking time to type this so that you will go through it again after this session. And what, when, to do what, to stay away. When to stay away. Now, you also need to understand that price moves. I'm taking my time to go gently so that you will understand. This is, a, this is a specialized session. You need to understand that price moves in a structural pattern.
which is basically divided into three. We have the buy trend. We have the sell trend. And we have the consolidation or what other call ranging markets. Are you getting me? Yeah. So you may ask me, what is it? But how do I know a, a buy trend? Very easy. A buy trend is the formation of higher highs higher highs and higher lows. Higher lows. What do I mean by this? Look at this, my, my, uh, my, my drawing. Okay. Now see this. Let's say price has been moving. Uh, Okay, let me use this. Let me use. So let's say price has been given this kind of move. When you see price giving you this kind of move. Um, I'm, trying to I'm trying to look for a better place to, to. But you see, price giving you this kind of move. This is what? A buy trend. This is a buy trend. Why is it called a buy trend? Formation of higher highs and higher lows. Why do we call these higher highs? Higher high. Let me use HH. Why do we call it higher high? It's called higher high because it is higher than this previous I. Are you with me? Yeah. And then this is called higher low. Why is it called higher low? From the definition, from the reason why this is called higher high. If you know why this is called higher low, why is it called higher low? Because it is higher than this last low. Hmm. Are you getting me now? Are you getting me? Yes. Yes. Now, this forms a new high. And then we have another high. So this is called another higher high. Why is it called higher high? It is higher than this last high. 
this is called higher low. Why? Because it is higher than this last low. I don't know if I'm communicating. Yes, yes. And the sequence continues like that. So this is called higher high. This is called higher low. This is called higher high. This is called higher low. Why? Because this is higher than this. This is higher than this. This is higher than this previous high, than the previous low. This is higher than the previous low. Do you understand this? Yes, I do. Are you sure you understand this? Are you sure? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm erasing. Oh God, my notes. Well, I, I have a question. So. I'm coming. Hey, I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, so I have a question. Okay. Okay, so the, the higher highs, higher low, I understand you, but when it comes to the chart, it doesn't... We'll go there. Exactly. Okay, I've heard, uh, you guys have said that it doesn't exactly play like that. We'll go there. Okay, we'll, go we'll go there, there right? we'll go there. So let's assume that this is our higher high. Let's assume that this is our higher, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Right? Yeah. Right? Now, this indicates that price is a what? Bullish trend. Why do we say it's a bullish trend? Because it's giving upward movements. Because what? It's giving upward movements. Now, one thing, upward movement. yes, upward movement. This upward movements now, price is going upward, right? Right? Remember, we started here. We started here now. We started here. Price moved like this. Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Right? Yes. Let me let me label for you. Uh, hello. I know. I know. I I I I I I Now listen to what I want to tell you. The buy trend. Are you with me? Are you with me? Yes. 
Yes, sir. The most important points. In the bike trend is the higher low. <laughs> the most important point in the bike trend is what is the higher low. These points. The higher low. Yes, is your higher low. I will tell you why very soon. Higher low. Now, because price won't continue to move to the upside like this. Remember, we, we, we said there are how many types of um, structural pattern. We have the buy trend, we have the sell trend, and we have the what? Consolidation. Are you with me? Yes, now, this is the buy trend that was established. If this guy wants to change to a sell trend, there is an exact formation that price will give you that will make you know that yes, we are about to sell. Ask me what that formation is. This was the formation. The formation is that price will break below this last higher low. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. The moment you see that price comes and break below this zone below this zone just know that price is showing you the sign for itself Are you with me? Are you with me? Yes, I am. Now, when this break happens, we call it something. It's called the break. Of structure. So we call it BOS. Oh, 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 BOS, break of structure, break of structure, break of structure, BOS, break of structure. Why? This is a structural pattern, right? But price is breaking this last higher low. That's why we are saying break of structure happen. Remember, this is the reason why I said in the bullish trend, the most important point for you is the higher low. So if at this point, if when price got to this point, this guy now closes below this zone. Below here, then we know that price is planning to sell from here. But because that day upon price created another high, price closed above this, created another high, price closed above this, created another high. But this last high broke this last higher low. When this happens, we know that price is planning to sell. You getting me? 
Yes, I am. Now, okay. the, the next thing that price we do now is that price we give a read test. The read test can come here. 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 The read test can come anywhere. This is called fib levels. When we get there, I will, I will remind you. It's called fib levels. Fib levels, Fibonacci levels. Price can retrace back to any point here, but it won't go above this point. That's how to know that price wants to sell. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So when this happens, price then comes down. Are you getting me? And then it will give us a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. I don't know if I'm communicating. I don't know if you are getting what I'm doing right here. Are you getting what I'm doing right here? Yes, I am. So, lower high. Lower low. The new lower high. The new lower low, the new lower high, the new lower low, the new lower high, the new lower low. So in this case, you should know the definition of what of a cell trend. So if you want to define a cell trend now, what do you call a cell trend? Let me see if you understand what I've been saying. If you want to define what a cell trend is now, what will you call a cell trend? A cell trend is a formation of lower highs and lower lows. That. Right? Formations of lower highs. Oh, dear. sorry about that. Eyes. Oh, what am I doing? Yes, formations of lower highs. And lower. Are you with me now? Yes. Which indicates that market is what? Market is down trending. Very strange. Oh. Trend. Bullish trend or buy trend. Bullish trend, market is doing what? Buying. Bearish trend, market is doing what? Selling. Are you with me? Yes. Now, 
in your lower, in your cell trend, the most important point is what is your lower eye. Don't forget this. Don't forget this. The most important point is your what? Is your lower what? What's the most important point? Hello. Your lower high. Your lower high. Why? Why do I? Why, why? Why are we saying this? Because the break of price above this lower high shows that this guy wants to buy, start buying. Just like what happened there, the break of this last higher low shows that this guy wants to start selling. The break of this last high, this last lower high, this last lower high, we show that, okay, price wants to start buying back. We show that, okay, price wants to start buying back. Do you understand? Yes. Now, when this break of this point happens, we call it what? What do we call it? Break of structure. Break of structure or BOS. Now, in this case, what do we expect price to do? We expect price to come back to any of these zones and then that buying creating higher highs and higher lows higher highs and higher lows 